What's going on guys, John Elder here from Kodobi.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use configure to update widgets with Kinter and Python. Alright guys, like I said, in this video, I'm going to talk about configuring widgets. But before we get started, if you like this video, and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Kodobi.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos to teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. That's all my courses, videos, and books for a one-time fee of just $49, which is insanely cheap. Okay, so I've done this in a lot of videos, updated different widgets using configure, but I've never done a video that just talks about configure. So I figured we'd take a minute to do that in this video. And configure is super, super important because, you know, once you create your app, there's all kinds of times when you need to update things in your app in real time. So you've got a label, you need to update it. You've got a button, you need to update it, a frame. You know, programs are nothing but updating things as you go along, as the user goes along. So we've looked at the in the past at using grid forget and pack forget and destroy to update things. So, you know, we kind of destroy a label and then recreate the, the label how we want it. And that kind of works, but it's not great. The best way to do it is with configure. And like I said, I've done this in a lot of videos in the past, but I haven't done a video just explaining it. So let's just kind of walk through some widgets and look at configure for, the, for those widgets and see uh, you know, how, exactly how this works. So I've got a file I call it config.py. I've got the same basic starter code that we always have, 400 by 400. It says code to me at the top, got a little icon, got our main loop and we're ready to go. So let's create a label. I'm just gonna call it my label. And it's a label. And we want to put it in root and we want the text to say um, this is my text and maybe we want to give this a font of helvetica size 18 and then we can my underscore label dot pack and let's give this a pad y of like 10 just to push it down the screen a little bit and okay, so now let's create a button. Let's call this my underscore button. And it's a button. We want to put it in root and we want the text to say, I don't know, click me. And let's give this a command of something. It doesn't really matter. And let's pack this onto the screen, my button dot pack. And let's give this a pad Y also of 10 to push it down a little bit. So now let's create this something function. So let's come up here and define it. And great name, I know. Okay, colon. Now, what do we want to do? Well, let's just my underscore label dot config. And now we want to set the text equal to this is new text. All right. So we can go ahead and save this. And this is just how this works. With config, you can change any of the attributes of the widget that you've already designated. So uh, let's go ahead and make this global just so we are sure that it will work in different functions. Go ahead and save this, head back over to our terminal. And we've got the git bash terminal that we always use. And so let's run python config.py. And we see this is my text, we click this, boom, this is new text, it changes. So you know, we've seen that sort of thing before. Uh, and it's pretty simple. Now you can do all kinds of different things. I mean, it's not, this is not just with labels, we can config just about everything. So for instance, if we come up here, if we want to change root, so we can go root.config. And let's say we want to change the background to blue or something, right? So now when we click this button, this text will change and hopefully our background will turn to blue. So if we save this and run it, We get this is my text, we click this, boom, everything turns blue, right? You know, this doesn't turn blue because it's a label widget and we didn't change the background color of the label widget, but everything else in root turned blue. So that's cool, right? So anything at all you can do, we can, we can play with this button, right? So let's go my underscore button dot config and let's set the text of that equal to uh, You've been configed. <laughs> I don't know. Now let's come down here and make this global so that we can access that guy in that function. So let's save this and run it, see what we got here. 
boom, now the button changes to you've been configed, right? So we can even change buttons, you know, anything at all we can change. So very cool. We can, you know, it's not just a text thing, right? Let's change this text in our my label. Let's change the font to, let's say, Helvetica and 12 or even eight, make it real small, right? So if we save this, come back here and run it. Boom, now it's very tiny text, right? Very cool. We can change the button state, right? So we can say state equals disabled, right? So if we save this and run it, we click this, boom, now the button is disabled. You see it's sort of grayed out. You can't, it's not clickable anymore, right? Any of the attributes basically of the widget can be changed when you use config. So we can try giving this a pad Y of uh, 30 for the button. Boom, now the button is really big. It's, it's given an internal pad Y of 30, right? So we can change sizes and shapes and things like that. So that's really kind of cool. So that's config, you know, you can, we can run through all of the different widgets and play with them. We could spend the next hour doing that, but you know what all the widgets are. And basically all the widgets, you can config all of their different attributes. So the size, the colors, the foreground, the background, uh, the font size, the, the text, the, the action, the commands, you can, do, you can do anything, right? Anything you want, you can change with config and it's uh, just that easy. So sometimes grid forget is good for things when you're gridding things or pack forget is good when you're packing things. But for the most part, when you wanna change something on the fly, you're just gonna to wanna to use dot config and it always works. Now, the only thing to keep in mind is your variables themselves. Are they local variables? Are they global variables? We probably didn't need to make these global for this simple function, but if your program is complex and you're opening other windows and you're calling other programs inside your program, it's easy to get trapped up it's easy to get tripped up with variable scope being local or global so I'll, a lot of times i'll just make all my label all my variables global anyway so then i just don't have to worry about it but other than that there's not much to this config thing at all super useful and you'll use it i mean always so that's all for this video if you liked it be sure to smash the like button below subscribe to the channel give me a thumbs up for the youtube algorithm and check out Konami.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership. So it pay just $49 to access all my courses, over 40 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 100,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from Konami.com, and we'll see you in the next video.